Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. God, that has got to get easier to say. Uh, last time we made it through the Elix Forest, we got cut from these guys with the Farfetch. We beat up our rival. We grinded a little bit, and now we're going to keep going through the forest. So this uh, this shrine here is if uh, you know we were a part of the event that lets you get Celebi, we'd find it there. I'm gonna walk without you know without using the running shoes because that actually helps you not run into so many Pokemon all the time. Has it look like there's a hidden item or something down here? I found a Max Ether. You can always tell when they have those looks of hidden items to them. Uh, wandering, wandering. Now that guy typically gives you headbutt. I wonder if he does the same in this. Stone plate. There's all. I gotta check uh, on the ground for this kind of stuff. What, uh, what is the stone plate? What does that do? It was probably just raises rock moves, but I gotta find out. Yes. Oh, uh, no, I hate dealing with those kimono girls. These are pretty high level Pokemon. Well, when you get to Ecrotic, they do anyway. And down and over. Oh, no. Ah, oh, good. Now that that's over, let's talk to this guy and see if he. Still gives his headbutt. Okay, he's just punching trees. Okay, definitely punching trees. It's okay, man. What am I doing? Oh, uh, yes, true. Which Pokemon? Pokemon should learn headbutt. I don't know. Let's. Alan can't learn headbutt. But Bubbles. Bubbles can't learn headbutt. Poof. Poof can learn headbutt. Alright, Poof. At level 10, they have no stats. Oh, okay. The 70 base power attack... ...might make them flinch. I gotta keep Rock Smash. Heat is really good. Attack order is really good. Alright, we won't give it to Poof, even though that would be very funny to watch a Cleffa... ...hit a tree. Let's we'll see what else we can use them on. Uh... No, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste it. I'll come back another point and uh, see if I can get it later. Alright, now that we're up here, let's go talk to this missus. Oh no! I'll help her get out of the forest. Magneton knows the way. All she had to do was keep walking. I don't know why she just stood there like an idiot. Get back over here, Magneton. I need you. Balls to grab. Oh, Pokemon to fight. Anyways, like I said, balls to grab. Splash plate! That's going to increase our water attacks. Not that we needed it. Not that we even have really any water attacks to deal with. So, oh, what's up here? Anything interesting? Bupkis. Alright. And voila! The end of Ilex Forest. Uh, the Protector, yep, it's Grass Pokemon, yep, it's actually Celebi. TM12. Typically, I think that's Sweet Scent? Oh, they gave us taunt this time. Okay. Yeah, alright. Well, I definitely don't want that, because I'm just going to get my ass kicked with taunt. Hey, wait a second. New area! We'll plop Alan up front, because I think that they can probably take something on. And let's see what we find. So we got ourselves a wall rain. All right. Hopefully they don't hit, hit me with too heavy of an ice attack. I'm gonna give them a good old-fashioned drill peck and see if they can get low enough. Rain punch. Yikes. Oh, I should be able to drill peck them one more time. Please don't die. 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 Please. Yes. 
and they miss their clamp. Pokeball, go! I feel like this should be in in one go. Or not, just totally break free. Yep, clamp, great. Ooh, critical, okay. Oh god, now we can't get out of here. Let's try the Premier Ball. Oops. It looks so cool. No? Man, the catch rate on this thing is ridiculous. Alright, we're getting pretty low on the health side there. Because I'm afraid we are going to Super Potion back up. This Walrion is actually doing good work. Back to the Pokeball. It's gonna go in this time. Hold down B. This will do it. This will do it. This works every time. Every time. Every time. See, it works every single time. Got a Walrein. The Ice Break Pokemon. An Ice Water type. Very heavy. Nice. I like him. Now I gotta come up with a decent nickname for him. You know what? Devin. Perfect. Now, he's accidentally transferred to the coffin. I'll go ahead and take him out of there, because he's not actually dead. He's doing quite fine. Uh, Alan's hurt a little bit, but we gotta make our way past this guy. Look away. Yep. Look away. Yep. There we go. Just gotta get around him. And around all these guys. Come back later. Now we have the daycare. And we have to talk to Lyra real quick. Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Alright, let's go ahead and get uh, Devin out of the coffin because they are not dead. We're going to deposit Mag Cargo for now, because we can't exactly use them. We didn't, well, we can, but I didn't nickname them, so I'll do that when we get up to Goldenrod, so we're actually quite close to Goldenrod. Now, Walrein is not dead. Perfect. We'll take them out of there. I guess we're going to swap the box back over to Box 1 now that we have at least six Pokemon. Now that we have at least six Pokemon, any Pokemon we catch, we don't want them going straight to the coffin. That's a little bit grim. Go ahead and bring them out. I really just want to get up to Goldenrod. Heal. Uh, what do you want? I don't care. Thank you. Now, that guy is actually a trainer at night. But at some point, we'll come back and we'll... Uh, beat them up. They usually have a Growlithe, but God knows what they're going to have now. And now we're in Goldenrod! So we'll just heal up real quick here. Perfect. Back out. Alright, so we're going to take on those trainers there now. Devin, I need to check your stats. Swift Swim. Boost the Pokemon speed in the rain. That's nice. We have Ice Beam. Deadly. Clamp, Drain Punch, and Icy Wind. Oh, well, it looks like Ice Beam is going to be the main stab there, and they have a neutral nature by the looks of it. Or possibly a high physical attack, low special defense. Uh, the colors are a little hard to see there. A wall rank could be very helpful. Alright. Let's take on a goon. And they have Anorith. Get out of here! Ooh, not quite a one-shot. Very close. Yeah, hit with the Hyper Fang. That's actually pretty, uh, pretty good damage there. A little bug. And now we get the critical, of course. Level 18. Huzzah! 
See ya, Camper Todd. You never had a chance. Yeah, let's 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 register him. Why not? Come back and beat him up later. Sure. Gonna go heal. Be right back. Ooh, TM54 false swipe. What an interesting thing to find in the middle of the route. Be very helpful for catching stuff if I uh, find I keep killing stuff too easily. But not a problem right now because we're in an area that's a little bit over overpowered. All right, let's take on this guy. Whoa, he's got a dragon air. Okay. Will be very good for this, Devin. Yikes! Hit with a dragon breath. Oh, of course we're paralyzed. Hit him with that ice beam. What are they doing? Tucked in its head. Wham! Oh yeah. Barboach. One second, I have to look that up because I have no sweet clue what a barboach is. Alright, so the barboach is a water and ground type. We need someone with a grass move. Uh, I don't really don't want to put low turret in battle. Do you have a grass move? I, keep, I forget what you have. No, bug. Well, the only one with uh, grass is polarity. I think. We don't have a grass here, do we? No. Oh, we'll swap in polarity, hit him with the uh, powerful grass move. I mean, yes, they are ground type. You know what? In, in case they have, like, Earthquake or something, I'm going to start with the Magnet Rise. Even though I probably could have one-shot them, but in case I don't, I don't want to be uh, hit really heavy. Go for the Brine, that's no big deal. Power Whip! Wha-bam! Le they're not surviving this, okay. I gotta be, I gotta start being a little more careful, so, you know, that's what I'm doing. Ah, there are no better trainers. Sure there are. Me! I'm better than you. Uh, back up the heel. Be back in a second. Alright, we're back and we're gonna take on this guy. He just got his Pokemon from the daycare. I feel like he's probably gonna want a refund after this one. Altaria. Okay. We have just the Pokemon for this, actually. Why does everybody have a dragon here? Did they, did they, did they figure out I was going to catch an ice type here? Oh no, causing an outrage. Oh wow, that does good damage. And they're faster than me. Please don't get a critical. Please don't get a critical. Okay, we live. This doesn't kill, we gotta swap anyway. Alright, well we got the kill, so we're still gonna have to swap. God, they have good experience. A chin chow. All right, let's go with polarity and just be safe. Eh, we're just gonna hit him real hard. Hope for the best. <laughs> eh, one shot, no problem. Down they go. They gave us a good amount of money. Mother! Oh, how are you doing? Yep, yep. There's a delivery man at the mart with our item. We'll have to go grab that. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Be right back. I wonder if we can get uh, that delivery at the mart. Let's check the big department store. Yes. Yuck berries. They sound appealing. Thank you, Mom. Back down to take care of the rest of those dudes. Took care of him. Now, it seems to be everyone in this area has a dragon type, so I'm gonna move Devin up front real quick. I think that this person's gonna have a dragon as well. Let's go. Watch them not have anything remotely close to a dragon. And I did this for no reason, and Devin dies. They have a Mew. Oh my god. Okay. 
Just hit him with the best move we have. Not quite a one-shot, but they're very close. Ah, it didn't do much. Hit him with the Icy Wind. Ice is also a very good type. I'm glad I have one now. You only give 96 experience for a Mew? What kind of bupkis is that? And they want to learn Blizzard. Yes, please. And the off chance that I super need to hit someone as hard as humanly possible, I'm going to get rid of Icy Wind in place of Blizzard. What up, Gastrodon? Keep going. Hit him with that Ice Beam. Not a one shot again, but they miss with their Magma Storm. Lots of experience from Gastrodon. Sand Slash will stick in. Ice should do very well against them. And of course it does. There they go. Another whack load of experience. Good job, Devin. Vigoroth. Well, let's stick in and hit him real hard. Let's go for the blizzard. And we missed. And they're thrashing. Go for the blizzard again. Rargh. There we go. Feeling good about Devin. Knock on wood. I'm knocking on wood right now. I do not want them to die. I like Devin. And up we go. Gonna do the heal again. And come back and take on that last uh, last trainer down there in the grass. Just a second. Now, we've got one more trainer down here to beat up. So we'll go ahead and make our way down there. And get into a random battle. What do we got? Another wall rain. There's no need to fight this. Well, let's go take on this trainer. They have a slack off. Well, if we take a vigor off, we can definitely take a slack off. And he's down. Actually, she's down. Scorupi. We can take Scorupi. We accidentally killed one back in Sprout Tower. Uh, hit it with that ice beam, and down, down, down it goes. Hi, Scroopy. Devin level up again. Getting lots of HP and pretty good stats, actually. Special attack going up. Everything's pretty good across the board there. I don't know what that is. Is it Chimicho? Just one second. Gotta look that one up, too. Ah, it looks like they're a pure psychic type, which uh, we don't really have anything good against, so we're just going to hit them with a blizzard. Kaboom! That'll do. And goodbye, Chimicho. Another whack load of experience there for Devin. Yep, try a strong trainer, give away all the phone numbers. Never know when that could come in handy. Mother calling again. Oh, I found a useful item. Alright, what is it? Probably another kind of icky berry. We got these yek berries last time. So it weakens a foe's super effective ice type attack. Well, that's not going to be very useful to us, because we are currently using the Ice type. Gonna go back up and heal. I don't even know if we took any damage, I'm going to heal anyway. Alright, so we've been recording for about 25 minutes or so. We'll go ahead and call it, uh, call that for the day. We're going to wrap things up there. Perfect timing, we just got some crazy graphical glitches. Look at that, we're floating, we're all gold, we have the same kind of color as the ground. Perfect timing to quit. We'll go ahead and save our game. 
And we'll pick this up next time, when we will hopefully take on the gym here in Goldenrod. We're going to do a bit more grinding before that, because I do not feel ready. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.